Messiah talking more about the latest and one of the one of the newest meme coins. Getting in early on meme coins really is essential. It's a week old. Damn, it's a week old. Damn's the name of the coin, and it's really worth going live about Damn. And more YouTube creators should be talking about Damn. As you talk about so many other damn meme coins, but you're you're looking at something that's a very um, important piece in the Shibarium and Shiba Inu ecosystem because it's on Wolf, the Wolf Swap usage of damn trading on that within Shibarium is burning a lot of bone. It's burning a lot of damn too. So it's deflationary, burning bone, making bone deflationary. The volume is impressive on it. Dam's um, steady volume is bringing a lot. A, a it's bringing a lot of volume into Shibarium. Let's just put it that way. Dam is getting a lot of attention. Um, it's going viral. It, Dam is going viral. It is. I mean, with I think fifty thousand holders or whatever, or more over fifty thousand in a week. I mean, there's well over a million people in Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu's ecosystems, well over a million people that are still holders. Um. So you have the SHIB army behind this. And now that it's the bull run, they're willing to invest some money. A lot of these SHIB holders are pretty smart investors. And in terms of being part of a more trusted ecosystem, I mean, they burned $500,000 worth of bone in the, in the liquidity pool. The LP is burned. It's not ruggable. Um, they probably will have CERTIC audit. I mean, they're going to do all the things SHIB does. Be audited. Um... More influences are paying attention to it already as it goes back over 5 million market cap, which it did today. It's on the rebound. Um, dam is on the damn rebound. I mean, already. It was in a descending wedge kind of pattern, you know, descending triangle. And now it's done its first leg. And it went up to, I want to say it almost went back up to point zero 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 eight or so it's about ready to lose a zero i mean it's a good time obviously this is a, bu a bullish indicator on the on the chart it, it is a very bullish bullish flag that actually did break out of a of a descending wedge showing this thing has a lot more to go um with a million plus shiba inu holders with all these other people paying attention on x uh, social media. I'm talking about YouTube. There's other. There's a Spanish YouTuber I just saw today. Sorry, I don't. I can't say your name, and I don't speak Spanish. But that was awesome to see the Spanish YouTuber. Um, maybe I can. I'll find the link hopefully, um, and put it in here. Um, but I'll, I'll give kudos to him. Um, I even commented on his uh, YouTube video in Espanol as best as I could. I said something like, "Viva." La Viva la Dam y Shib. Viva y Dam. Viva los. Viva los Dam y Shib. <laughs> I can't speak Spanish worth a lick. I'm sorry. I try to do it um, as best as I could without using translation. But I'm really excited. I actually really am excited about Dam. Um, there's really only three meme coins right now I think are pretty cool. Um, Tigra, because they gave 3% of the supply to Vitalik Buterin, who has not sold it. He said he's going to burn it. I mean, I like Vitalik Buterin. I like what he's done for DeFi. I have a lot of respect for that dude. I'm even wearing gray sweatpants. <laughs> if you can see, I'm wearing, I'm wearing my gray sweatpants, dude, and my Star Wars shirt, Vitalik. Um, but I like that. Vitalik, um, that's his cat's name, Tigra. I like any Inu. I mean, multi-chain is it's, it's a tremendous... Uh, narrative this time around. And meme coins are very narrative-based. But they can become cryptocurrencies or evolve into altcoins, um, like Shiba Inu did. So really, it's only those three. Those, those are three out of all these meme coins. I was like, you have to get in early. Um, they're not great investments, but they're very great um, make money up until the end of the bull run. And you probably want to sell at the end of the bull run. I mean, that's fine. You might want to keep some if you're staking them. Maybe get some type of rewards. Just depends. Um, but there's very few meme coins that really, I think, have a lot of potential. And even if they bust and, and go through the bear cycle, if they do it like SHIB, you know, SHIB's going to hit an even another all-time high this, this bull run. It's always good to take profits. Just be wise about it. Don't hurt your community if you can. You know, be, be a wag me people. You know, have the Ryoshi philosophy, uh, doing things right in DeFi. Um, I think Vitalik Buterin believes in that. 
I think a lot of people with the ETH Foundation and a lot of these three tokens are all on ERC20. They're Ethereum. Any Enu is like on 17 chains. I'm hoping any Enu goes on Shibarium. <laughs> I'm going to say right now, any Enu, get listed on the L2 Shibarium. It's a doggy coin. It makes so much sense. It'd be a huge story for any Enu. Um, more and more tokens need to build on Shibarium, and that's great. And Shibarium's, um, I can't remember the, the exact numbers, but they're going up a lot. Like the volume coming into Shibarium is huge and it's handling it. And DAM is bringing in a lot of volume to Shibarium. So kudos to Shaitoshi Kusoma and all the, all the SHIB devs. I mean, they're getting it right. It's not that hard to use. I've, I'm not that technical, people. I was able to buy DAM. Like first time using Shibarium, had a seamless seamless experience and i am not that technical okay shibarium is not that hard to use it's as hard as taking some bone which you could buy bone on exchanges now i think gate diet gate io and bitmart and there's some exchanges out there central decentralized uniswap you buy some bone you send it to the shibarium bridge okay it's in the bridge now now you open up the shibarium network just google how to add shibarium network to my metamask and there's an instruction on the first one, and it shows you how to add Shibarium Network to MetaMask. You go into there. Now you'll see your bone. It's no longer in your ETH wallet. It's bridged, just like bridging Matic and Polygon. And so Shibarium, just to educate everybody, is much like uh, Polygon, okay? Dirt cheap. Fraction of a penny, I think. When I bought DM, it was like 0 .002 pennies. It was nothing, the last purchase I made. Um, and I never disclose how much I buy. Um, I actually did do some in this. Um, because it's a meme coin, you have to DCA. You, it, you always DCA also uh, on its way up. Because they're very violent moves up and down, very volatile. Um, so only put in what you can afford to lose. This, this, I mean, this is... I have to disclose this every time. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is for your entertainment and entertainment purposes only. It says it in the description, so on and so forth. But I will tell you, when you're buying an appreciating asset, you DCA up and down. And why don't you DCA a lot uh, in the beginning? It's because a lot of meme coins fail. I've seen so many rugs. I've seen so many bad things happen, technical issues, uh, security issues. Uh, but I feel like DM is a very competent team. I think they're SHIB devs that worked on it. Maybe they no, lo no longer work on SHIB. It's decentralized. It doesn't matter if they do. Um, as long as there's no conflict of interest, there's none. I mean, DM helps SHIB. DM helps Bone. It's all in one ecosystem. Um, so, you know, <laughs> I, I can tell you this one has more potential. I think K9 does. I don't call that a meme coin. K9 is a liquid staking token. That's why it's a utility coin. Nobody's like really hopping on these things. The narrative right now is meme, 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 meme. Everything's meme. It's because of soul. It's because of base and all these new L2s doing meme coins. And Solana's a layer one, but don't, damn is the Solana killer. <laughs> Come on. And I like that narrative because Solana is very centralized. I don't trust it. I tried Phantom Wallet. It was a horrible experience from top to bottom. Um, could not even get connectivity at all on a good internet connection. Um, it does not handle volume at all right now, which they're not prepared for the bull run. They should have been prepared for it. Shibarium worked so fast on Wolf Swap. It was super, like Shiba Swap, super fast, you know? Just, you know, secure your stuff. Use a hard wallet if you have a lot of, a lot of crypto. For hot wallets, hot wallets, um, never store your seed phrase on any electronic device that can hook into the internet. Um, you know, you have to be safe with your stuff. But in a, in a long bull run like this one's going to be, and we're about right now like, like the beginning of 2021. This is a longer phase, okay? We just kind of came out of covid and everything went up on that first A move. You know, if you go A, B, C, D, E, this could be an A, B, C, D, E, E, bull move on Bitcoin. I mean, we just hit A. We still got B, C, 
D and then E, the top of it. Boom. I think sometime late in 2025. I think October 2025 is going to be a big up. October 2025 is going to be the crescendo. Um, a lot of things like to crash in the stock market in October, and they will. <laughs> it's still going to go up probably late September, right into October 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Crash. And it'll be a violent uh, crash, and then the bear market will start to get progressively start, okay, into late 2025 and early 2026. And that's just because of the way these things cycle. Um, the Bitcoin halving is coming next month. This is very close. We're very close to the Bitcoin halving. Um, DAM has the potential with, you know, 100,000 Bitcoin to go up a lot because that's unexplored territory for Bitcoin. It goes from then 70 to 100,000. If it's going to go to 100,000, it's probably going to go to 150, okay, depending on when 150 happens. You could see 200 in Bitcoin by the end of this year. It could happen. I'm just saying it depends. It depends on how much volume comes in. And Asia is about to ape in big time. The, one of the big things I just saw was Shaitoshi Kusama's in the Maldives. And Shaitoshi Kusama was in um, Japan. I'm thinking Osaka because there's a connection there with Shaitoshi. And he's working on something big. He has his own vision too. But is it, this is a time that Japan's market is about to open tremendously because uh, as quantitative easing there comes to an end or transition point with quantitative easing in Japan, um, they have a lot of concerns for the yen, okay? Uh, the value of the yen is going to start coming down a lot. They need to hedge their economy with some crypto. I think Japan might be one of the first nations with probably the most technological and safe CBDC we, we have. But because it's foreign, it's Japanese, it has its own risks, it'll be um, likely uh, to be a crypto-traded currency for the first time, people trading the Japanese CBDC. Um, and it will create a narrative then in crypto because in the United States will be talking about its CBDC. Things always happen in Japan first, and then like the United States 20 years later or something, okay? Then the United States is going to develop the CBDC. All this hap could happen at the end of 2025 and cause a severe bear market into 2026. Because now CBDCs are going to cause FUD. People will be like, why not just buy these because the governments now are backing it? Well, not everybody trusts the government. Smart people don't trust any crypto 100%. I mean, if you, there's reasons to trust them. There's, there's measures that could be taken to tr have trust. But Luna Classic, I mean, that had a lot of trust at one point in time among the market. Even had audits, I believe. But Do Kwan was smart enough to know how to crash it because he kept backdoor codes of everything. He was able to basically, you know, kill that and also sell his bags. So he shorted himself on the way down. I'm sure if he could short it, he would. Um, but I think he shorted Bitcoin. He, I think he just sold Luna, got into Bitcoin very quick, and then would short Bitcoin as it went down. He made a lot of money, but now he's going to jail. <laughs> um, but he, that's a big story. Sam Bankman freed. Um, he's going to jail too. And I think, I don't know if his girlfriend might. Um, I think they gave her immunity for testifying against him. Uh, you know... And then Gary Gensler is always going to be a pain. But really, I mean, the guy, you can't trust him. He likes crypto secretly. You know he likes Bitcoin. And I bet you that, you know what, that turd burglar, I, I mean, I don't know what to call the dude. Okay, you know, I don't want to be bigoted either. Sorry about saying that, that word. Um, you know, but he's a pencil neck, okay? He's not representative of anything but his own interests. I, I don't like him. He's fairly corrupt, but he's making concessions in his own way by doing these things like scaring the ETH Foundation. Say, I'm going to investigate. I'm going to investigate. Okay, it, who are you going to sue? The ETH Foundation's all over the world. There's like Toronto being, you know, there's Europe. The ETH, the ETH Foundation is international. That's like them saying, I'm going to sue the United Nations. Like. You could, maybe, if the United Nations gives you consent to sue them in their own courts, the ICJ. So, you can, I mean, you'd have to go to every single one of these countries to use their enforcement 
agencies that deal with securities to go after the ETH Foundation because it's like a hydra. You cut off the U.S. head, it's going to hurt it, yeah, but it's not going to go away. You'd have to ban Ethereum itself, and they're not going to do that. They're not going to ban it. BlackRock wants it. BlackRock wants Ethereum. Ethereum, ether, ether, ETH, whatever. You can always correct me on pronunciation. I don't care. Ethereum is how I say it. Um, so the ETH Foundation is running into some troubles. Um, and it's not good. It's a bad look for the project. It, it, it takes some investor confidence. This is holding the price down at Ethereum too. Unfortunately. This is the next kind of XRP actual 